Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal with Elizabeth Games. On the last episode, we were making our way towards the end of the game. We found ourselves in prison after having, you know, turned ourselves in in the real reality. But our friends managed to get us out of Juvenile Hall. We reunited with them and now we've been hanging out with them, spending the last of our days in Tokyo with them. We spent Valentine's Day with the boys because we don't have a girlfriend. Er, we hung out with everyone at the start of February and heard about everyone's plans for the future. And now it is almost white day and we are going to spend our day showing our appreciation for Sojiro who takes care of us. So that's fun. Let's just go ahead and jump into it, shall we? Enjoy. All right, I think I have a little bit of time. Let's do this. Uh, we have to get some flowers for Sojiro. I mean, maybe he'll really like them, but I kind of don't see it ending well. Um, oh well, it's fine. Let's give him some flowers though, he'll definitely appreciate it, I think. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay, hi. Oh, what brings you here today? I'm here for a surprise present. I see. Okay, leave it to me. That should do it. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, that comes out to... Hold on, let me cover this one. You've been taking care of me yourself, so... I need to express appreciation for you, too. I got a Scarlet Rose. Good luck! I'm rooting for you! That's it! The gift is ready! I should return to the lawn. Oh, this is really sweet! <laughs> There you are. All right. Ready to surprise the chief? What's the matter? Don't you have better things to do than stand around? I have a surprise for you. Wait. This is for me? You got to be kidding me. No, I guess it wouldn't be much of a joke. Thanks for everything you do. You're welcome, I guess, but where's all this coming from? Wait, this isn't about what I said yesterday, is it? <laughs> Come on, I didn't mean you had to do something for me. But thanks. <laughs> Man, never thought I'd be the one getting one of these. I can tell Chief is happy. We did it. Just make sure you got someone else to give flowers to next year, all right? Better be someone special. Someone you can't get off your mind. No matter what you do. Here, take a seat. I'll get you some coffee. Hey, you're finally taking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Okay. Off you go then. Try not to cry! <laughs> I cut her off by accident. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm already... Well, I was crying. I'm, I'm, I'm okay now, but I'll probably start crying again. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <sighs> okay, let's watch TV real quick and then we'll chat with our, our loved ones. With plenty of sunshine and the first signs of cherry blossoms, tomorrow will be an ideal day for outings. Hey, hey, do you want to go check out the cherry blossom tree on our way to see everyone? Which cherry blossom tree? Where? Is there one? I want to go see it. All right. Uh, I guess we'll start with Futaba. Hi! Good news! Kana-chan passed her high school entrance exam. She sent me a message this morning. I told her I was getting into high school too, and she says we can make our student debuts together. So, you know that promise in the book? The one about going to school? This means, like, I did it, right? Excellent job. Awesome, right? Can I get that in writing? Honestly, though, the idea of not having Sojiro or everyone else around is the scariest part. But I know I can't stay in my room forever, and that's way more important. 
I feel like I've been getting more curious every day. I want to see and learn so much stuff. So, I want you to have this. It's proof I'm moving on. We got the promise list. As I only changed this much thanks to the notebook. And you, of course. If you ever feel lonely, just look at this notebook and remember that I've got your back. Okay? I love you, Futaba. Thank you. If you ever feel lonely, just look at this notebook and remember that I've got your back. Okay? Oh, she's so sweet. I love her. Um, they've changed that conversation. I think they'll have changed a few of the conversations because of Royal. Oh, this is really interesting. Hi, Sojiro. Saying goodbye to me? Oh, cut it out. You're gonna see me tomorrow. Just remember to pack once you get back, you hear? I don't want you forgetting anything important here. That reminds me. Maybe I should give Sojiro my probation diary. Let's hand it over. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. The diary of the Phantom Thieves leader, huh? Probably gonna be worth a lot someday. Thanks, though. I'll keep it safe. Well, we've all been through a lot, but it seems like everything's changed for the better. Try to behave yourself back home, would you? <laughs> Not like you ever listened to me anyway. And we got recipe notes. Here, I want you to have these. I've got them memorized already. With that stuff, you can make the same... Well, no, that'd be a waste. Put your own spin on the flavor. Develop it. Make it yours. Come on, you should get going. You still got things to do, right? Thank you, Sojiro. Oh, our little family. Okay. Uh, I'm having a good time. Let's, let's go. Let's go see the rest of our friends. I'll talk about everything once we are, are, are done with this part. Hi, pompous customer. I've cast away my life as a film critic and discovered how I can truly shine for humanity. Sadly, you won't be able to talk for me like the, uh, talk to me the, like this much longer. Soon, I shall embark on a journey. Where to? Where am I headed? To infinite possibilities. I shall roam the nation, list, visiting restaurants and using my refined palate to write online reviews. Naturally, the restaurants will have some say as my reviews evolve into paid dramatic advertising. Someday, I'll even come back and review this place. I'll do it for cheap, too, since I owe boss. Well, uh, that's somewhat noble of you, I suppose. <laughs> Not particularly, but that's okay. Hi, Sai. How are you doing? Thanks for the chocolate. You look like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? He did your research. We're talking about the mastermind behind the world-renowned Phantom Thieves. Give me some credit. On the record, you've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now, sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's against you. So, just in case, take this. We got a business card. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. Remember that. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. Thank you, Sai. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, it hurts. Okay, let's go on into the clinic and see Takemi. Hi, how you doing? Oh, hey. You're going home tomorrow, right? Then let me give you an update. So, about Miwa-chan. Her symptoms started fading pretty soon after administering the new medicine. You can see her smile now. Yeah, I can't wait. It's all thanks to you. Thank you for supporting me through it all. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here, I want you to have this. We got a dog tag. 
You saved Miwa-chan. It's only fair that you get to meet her someday. Let's see. Once Miwa-chan's all better, maybe the both of us could take a trip to visit you. <laughs> Keep your health in check. I want you there to welcome us with a smile, okay? Thank you to Kemi. She's so sweet. Uh, I'm not going to talk to every person we see. Um, I don't particularly have time, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's okay. Let's go to Shibuya. Uh, I'll just go to Station Square because I think Yoshida should be there. Uh, can I get my lottery results? Can I? Hmm? Hey, hey, I didn't win big, but I'm still happy. Oh, dang it, I can't check him. <laughs> oh well, we'll never know. <laughs> Hi, Yoshida. You're heading home tomorrow, I hear. It'll be a new start. You've got my blessing, whatever that's worth. I recall the days when you helped me out with my speeches here. You'll always have my support. We'll be treading separate paths, but as long as we share a common purpose, I'm sure I'll see you again. If I've earned the support of an upright young man like you, well, that must surely be my greatest achievement. You expect farewells to be so sad, but here we are beaming. From now on, your life is your own to live. Now, I suppose I'd better send you off with a parting gift. We got a fountain pen. It's an incredibly expensive fountain pen I bought back when I'd strayed from the right path. Embarrassingly enough, I hardly used it. I hope you'll put it to better use than I did. Whatever new chapters you write with that pen, I'll be watching for them. Thank you, Yoshida. All of our confidants are so sweet. Oh, and the cherry trees. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, this is so, just so beautiful. Uh, okay. Er, Shibuya. We should have EY. Oh, we got a few people actually. Oh, Haru! Haru, hi! How are you doing? Oh? It's a little strange meeting here. That reminds me. The new coffee shop venture is progressing toward opening its first location. Actually, I'll be involved with its launch even while attending college. So you're going for your dream. Indeed. It's an early step, but nevertheless an important one. I can only imagine it'll be difficult. I'll have to balance my studies and managing the company. But it's all for the sake of making my dream come true. I swear I'll make this work. By the way, I tried making something for you. We got a dyed handkerchief. I'd like to sell handcrafted goods at my cafe as well. So this is the first step in my practice. I want to live up to my grandfather's reputation after all. And my father's legacy. It has to be a comforting, welcoming place for everyone. Some place to spend your peaceful hours. Once it opens, we should all meet up there. Just like our days at Leblon. I really hope we can. Thank you, Haru. Okay, let's go see Ryuji. I think he's probably in the arcade. This is where he used to hang out after all. Yo? Man, spring break's supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but instead you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. I'll come running here. Man, do you even know how far that is? Well, I guess it depends on the starting point. Hold on, I'm faster. Maybe I should be the one running. Or we could start at the same time. So we'd like crash into each other somewhere in the middle of wait what was the question honestly even with the rehab i don't know if my legs ever going to be how it was before but when i think about how much i want to run well i figure there's no point lying to myself nothing's guaranteed i don't know if i'm going to get anywhere but well, you could say that for any goal right i don't want to live stuck on regrets or shame i'd rather just run and keep on running. We got a sports watch. And hey, you better practice too. See, if we share our times, we can even compete from far away. Man, when I think about going to school without you guys, 
I don't know. I can't imagine it. It's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. And it's all thanks to you, man. Oh. <laughs> I feel the emotions. Thank you, Ryuji. I love you. Oh, he's such a good friend. Okay. I can't believe they're all going their separate ways. Oh, God. Lavenza, hi. How are you doing? So, you have come to say farewell. I have some words of reflection for you in this time of parting. This twisted, broken world sought to crush you, yet you salvaged it, and with your ideals stitched it whole. You were a true trickster of this modern age, a beloved champion of a burdened public, and a man of such great heights. Well, where will his path take him next, I wonder? Care to join me? Now, I don't know about that. To accompany a trickster on so twisting and winding a path, I fear I'd soon be outpaced. I have more than mere words to give you today, though. Allow me to grant you a parting gift, not as the one who leads you, but simply as Lavenza. This is my blessing to you, to carry on your journey. We got a selfie. You were confined to your cell for so long, now, at last, it seems only right that you bear its key. In the past, guests of the Velvet Room have received their keys upon their very first visits. But with this key in hand, you will be able to break free of whatever trials may imprison you in the future. Uh, I missed a line. Ah, uh, there we go. I can go back. It's fine. However, I was unable to pass it on to you at that point. This is the least I can do for you now. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. Though, of course, you have already chosen the path of true freedom. By inspiring others to take up arms and fight for their own beliefs, you may change the world itself. You walk the path of a true trickster. May it lead you to fortune beyond imagining. Thank you, Lavenza. You've been a wonderful guide. Okay, let's go chat with EY real quick. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Karu! Hi, Karu! Oh, Mamiya-san, I'm glad I could see you. Dad told me today's your last day here, so I really needed to talk to you. Thanks. No, I should be thanking you. I just had to tell you this in person. Starting this spring, I'll be a Shujin student. I know I said that I admired the Phantom Thieves, but I think you're amazing too, Amamiya-san. I want to be just like you. I figured I could start by going to the same school as you. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, shoot, I forgot I was in charge of dinner today. Uh, sorry, I've gotta go. Gotta catch a sale before it ends. I'll talk to you later. Haru! Oh, that's so sweet. We got to chat with him. Right, hi, UI. Yeah. I hear you're heading home tomorrow. Perfect. I've got a story for you. Karu got accepted to high school. He'll be a Shujin Academy student in the spring. He'll be in good hands. Thanks, man. Karu will be stoked when I tell him. He says he wants to become like you. Well, being a bro means someone will be following in your footsteps. But I can't leave everything to you. I'm the parent here, so I gotta do my job. Oh, yeah, here. It's an EY family gecko. Take good care of it, okay? We got the gecko pen. Having you around the place helped me realize times sure have changed. But I'm not going obsolete just yet. I still got more to learn, just like you. Looks like you got plenty of guys following your lead now. I'm real glad we met. Take care. Thank you, EY. We have so many people in our large family now. We have like three dads. <laughs> anyway. Oh, this is just so sweet. Okay. Let's head downstairs. We should be able to find On and Yusuke down here. Oh, why, hello there. Guess who I was just looking for? It was you. Oh, that's right. You'll be departing tomorrow. It's sad to see this as a season of farewells, but. 
I didn't expect we'd all go our separate ways. It's going to get lonely. Yes. But I suppose that in itself is a bizarre thought. After all, this time last year, we were but strangers. Do you remember the painting I submitted to that competition? Desire and hope it was. Well, I would like to bestow it upon you as a parting gift. We got desire and hope. As of now, my canvas is still blank. It's not for lack of inspiration. There's so much I want to express, I can barely contain my passion. But my heart has not led me astray yet. I'll paint as it guides me. Even should I scar my work with doubt, hesitation, chaos. Oh, yeah. Certainly, that's a beauty all its own. Your life is no worse for its own scars. Your truest beauty lies in them. And I hope you tell me their story someday. Thank you, Yusuke. Oh, they're all so sweet. The conversations have definitely changed somewhat, so there's like a couple of lines that I am noticing are different and it's kind of sad that they've changed because there was a line that was really good for Yusuke. I'm not gonna... I don't, I don't know if I can show them in Royal because I don't know if they would even show up if you got the vanilla ending in Royal. Um, I definitely recommend going back and playing the vanilla game though if you're curious about changes in the game because it feels like a different enough experience to me at least. Our, and it should be cheaper than Royal. Anyway, let's go speak with On. Hi there. Oh. Did you come here for souvenirs? This place has everything. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. Gotta research schools, places to live. But we're all splitting off to do our own thing, huh? Honestly, it's not really hitting me yet. We'll see each other again. Yeah, totally. It's not like we're all leaving forever. I mean, we still have the group chat. I'll still be messaging you all, and you gotta respond. By the way, um, a little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines, and that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. It felt incredible. Oh, right. Vague did a special piece on me in this month's issue. We got a fashion magazine. I said it all in the interview, but I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've gotta reach people. I wanna give someone hope, like you did for me. Thank you for all you've done. The days I spent with you were some of the brightest in my life. Once I'm a star, I'm gonna shine even brighter though. So you watch out for me. I love you all, thank you. Oh gosh, all these conversations. Oh, I like that it's taking everyone away once we've spoken to them. That makes it easier to keep track. Okay. Oh, we have so many people to chat with. Okay. Uh, let's head to the, the school next. We can speak with their Makoto and Kawakami. Okay. There's Mako over there, so let's chat with her first. Please stand back. Hi there. Oh, what a coincidence. I was just getting some of my college enrollment papers ready. Soon enough, I'll be living on my own too. <laughs> New beginnings for both of us, I suppose. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks. You'd better take care of yourself back home too. My sister and I are actually going to look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. But nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. If I'd never met you and stayed a simple honor student, I'd never have realized I had that choice. We got a bitchy calculator. So, I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. We fought back together, so it seems only fair you keep it. I want you to know that you're an irreplaceable comrade to me. Always have been, always will be. Thank you, Please stand back. All of our friends are so 
good. Okay, let's go to school. We should hopefully find Kawakami here. Oh, there she is. Kawakami, hi, how you doing? Er, hello? Hi. Yep. Shujin Academy. This is where it all began. <laughs> We'd be here all day if we talked about everything that happened here. I didn't actually mean to look at- I, I wanted to chat to Kawakami, she's right here! Kawakami, hello! Can I speak to you, please? Ka Kawakami? Becky? Hello! Oh. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm about to give a lecture. Did you come to see the campus? You're going back home tomorrow, right? Make sure you keep up your studies there, okay? Thanks for everything. Of course. And let me know if there's anything you need. This is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. Now that you're heading out into the world, I've got a present for you. We got unlimited service. It sounds like the setup to a joke. A student bumps into his teacher in a full French maid outfit. But somehow, that opened up all kinds of new paths in my life. You taught me so much. You're not just my best student. You were a great master. I can make up for all the times I distance myself from my students. I'll help anyone who needs it. The point is, I'll put in the work. I learned a lot from you, and I won't let that go to waste. Thank you, Kawakami. She's such a good teacher. All right, let's go see who else we can find. Uh, now that we're done in Aoyami, chill me. Uh, I guess we can go to Kanda next because we should just have Hifumi there. Right, Hifumi, hi. Let's chat, shall we? Oh, you came to visit. You're going home tomorrow, correct? To tell you the truth, I have an important shogi tournament tomorrow as well. I'll be cheering you on. Thank you very much. If I do well, that will make it 10 straight wins. I'll work hard so I can give you a good report. That's quite a smile. Like a knight standing victorious at the end of a grand siege. But I suppose a knight can't remain idle for too long. His presence is still needed elsewhere, I take it? If my shogi skills have truly helped such a dauntless champion, then it has been an honor and a pleasure. From one player to another, I have a parting gift for you. We got a kosha piece. The lance piece moves exclusively forward. Until it is promoted, it can only move onward, never back. So let us continue on our own paths, even if we have to part ways for now. One day, when the two of us lances have been promoted, we will retrace our steps and meet again. Thank you for me. Oh, she's so sweet. Everyone in Noina was really sweet. All right, let's go to Akihabara. Let's see Shinya. Oh, Mishima might, might be here as well. Mishima, hi. How are you doing? Oh. So you're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. What's the title? Huh? Uh, well, I haven't really gotten to that. I've been too busy actually writing it. But when I need one, I'll definitely be consulting the ex-Phantom Thieves themselves. It makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on. Just like you did with that first calling card. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty early draft, but... We got documentary plans. It'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. Thank you, Mishima. <sighs> of 
god. All of our friends are so cool. He's writing a documentary. That's so cool. A whole documentary. Oh man, I went right past the arcade. There, <laughs> let's go and chat with Shinya. Hi, my boy, how are you doing? Hey, uh, you're moving tomorrow, right? Don't forget to practice at home. But you keep working hard too. Yeah, whatever happens from now on, I'm gonna keep winning too. If I lose, then I'll deal with it. Just like you taught me. Oh, right. I returned the money, and he forgave me. We're friends now, and he's even playing gun about with me. He's still a total newbie, so I'm teaching him all the pro strats. Oh, but don't stress. It's not all boot camp this time. I'm going easier on him. Thanks for everything. You've helped me so much. I'm going to give you my secret weapon. We got a gun controller. See, that's my strategy. I use this to practice at home. But these days I'm kind of too busy helping mom or playing with my friends. At first, I thought you were kind of weird, but... Now, uh, you seem pretty cool. So, I'm still your teacher when it comes to games, but you're my teacher in real life. Thank you, Shinya. He's a sweet kid. Oh, everyone's doing so much better now. Have we just got the Akiha Akihabara one set? I think we do. Huh. Well, yeah, no, she, no Sumire. I think is she may be still at that training camp. Hmm. Well, either way, let's go and speak with our last confidants. Oh, gosh. Hi, Lavenza. <laughs> okay. Chihaya. Hi. How are you doing? Oh. It's exactly as the card said. You came to visit me. In your current state, you should be fine. You'll be fine too. <laughs> well, if you're the one saying that, then it must be true. I've been receiving encouragement from my clients lately. Even though I should be the one encouraging them. Strange, isn't it? But... Perhaps that's the truest form of fortune-telling there is. Mutually encouraging each other to find happiness in a world full of tangled, painful fates. It's the kind of comfort I've always hoped to provide in my readings. Here, this card represents your future. Please, take it as a good luck charm. We got the fortune tarot card. An upright fortune card represents happiness to come. But it's an omen of doom when reversed. But I know you'll carry on with the same conviction you've always had. You were never one to fear the future. That's how you manage to bring joy to any fate. So, I'm sure we'll meet again. Though, that's not based on any augury. Just a personal wish. Thank you, Chihaya. She's really sweet too. Oh, we got a fortune card from her. That's really sweet. I wonder if Ryan would get his own tarot deck. I think he would. Hmm? Let's go out into Crossroads, shall we? Hmm. It might not be business hours right now, but let's go check it out anyway. Oh, honey. What brings you here at a time like this? Hi, Lala Chan. I came to say goodbye to you. Oh. Oh. There's a fire in your eyes now, boy. I have to say it suits you. Come back any time! Come back to this bar once you become an adult. I'll break out some of my finest drinks for you. Thanks, Lala Chan. I love you. Hi, Oya. How you doing? I, can I speak with you, please? Do you have ESP? I'm surprised you knew where I was. Are you here to say goodbye? I wanted to thank you. That's my line. So... I'm close to being able to report on Kaio's case. Ever since all that stuff happened with Shido, the stories haven't stopped rolling in. But it looks like I can finally avenge her. And it's all thanks to your hard work. Here, it's a record of the struggles we shared. We got interview notes. By the way, I heard the Phantom Thieves are disbanding? It's gonna be so boring around here. Not every day you get to chase after a bunch of young revolutionaries like them. 
Hold on, though. I bet you got more tricks up your sleeve. You're going home, not turning over a new leaf. I'll be keeping an ear out for your next adventure, okay? I promise, I'll tell your story to the world. Thank you, Oya. Thank you. Oh, all over Come Come again. Take care. Watch out for weirdos on your way home, okay? Thanks, Lala Chan. We have such good friends. Uh, well, I, I think we're done with everyone. I think we've actually spoken with everyone. Judging by the map. I can't think of anyone else that we've... I mean, that seems to be available. I'll go to Kichi Joji just in case, but I don't think Smiri... She's not here. Yeah, and obviously, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can go down here to be sad, but I don't think Kakechi's going to be here. <sighs> yeah. He is not here. Well, that's okay. I think we're done. Let's go back to home. Kitty. Let's go in, shall we? Hmm? Have you said all your goodbyes? Let's finish saying goodbye and go. Are you really sure? Let's go home. Hey, um, I actually have a present for you, too. We got Morgana's scarf. Even when I was human, I kept holding on to this for some reason. Between a cat, a human, or some kind of vehicle. Helicopter. <laughs> it's been hard to say for sure who or what I am. But whatever else I am, <gasps> I can say without a doubt, I'm your partner. I love you. Well then, we should probably go home and get packed, huh? Hi. You finished saying your goodbyes? Well, how'd it go? <laughs> Did it make you feel like you want to stay? Of course. I see. You must have made a lot of good memories here. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want it getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me. I can go wherever I want all by myself. It really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said, Sojiro stupid. What? What kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to me. I'll be counting on you. I've been counted on. Oh, man. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So, you go do your best, too. <sighs> Thank you for everything. Everything? I took you in. I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. I'll be lonely without you. Stop it. I'd rather hear that coming from a lady. Oh, and sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning though. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing the store, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. I'm so grateful. Yeah.
you over there! Hey, look this way! <laughs> <laughs> after we said hmm? we'd disband. We are all in break after all. No more entrance exams. Mm. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? Uh. Shit. <laughs> They've even followed us here? What should we do? Need a hand? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Dr. Maruki? You're suggesting uh -huh. we split up? <laughs> Should we? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Come and get us! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we then? There's no charge. Oh? If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. <sighs> Good luck. Whoa. Damn, man! Those dudes just wouldn't give up! I wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure <laughs> to eat well. We'll see you. Soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. Hmm? All right, it's mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Aw, gotta go already? We don't make the train schedule. See you later, my dude! <laughs> Sit down. <sighs> you taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? Coming with you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Take care. Huh? Mm. study abroad guys and stuff oh my gosh oh this is oh my god sorry i am crying <laughs> I, I i would usually talk but i really want to watch this i've never seen this oh they're looking at new places for mccool oh. <laughs> oh look at them i love them What's one with a cat on it? It looks like water. Oh, Taba. 
she doing her homework? Oh. <laughs> Yusuke. Oh. Oh. The, back, the fan of the use. Is he trying to draw the painting that he wanted to do? The one inspired by everyone? Oh. What is the song? What is the song? I love it already. Oh, that piano is gorgeous. pretty music. I'm gonna hold off on giving like my full thoughts on the game. I'm gonna do like a proper review video at some point. Um, like like the one that I did for Tales of Vesperia. I never did the one for Final Fantasy 15. I'll get around to it eventually, I promise. Um, but no, I'm definitely gonna do one for this game. Er, especially after I do the, er, the post-game romance route and also see all the other endings. Um, I believe this is the true ending. Um, I have thoughts, honestly. Like, I have, hmm. This, the, the ending is, I really like how it's ended in a way, because I'm like, everyone is going on towards the futures that they've chosen for themselves, and it really fits with what they've chosen to do for Royal, with the third semester being, we're choosing this future that we want. Um, it's a little weird though. Oh, there's Tama. Sorry. <laughs> it's a bit like the game is splitting in two different directions, if that makes any sense. Um, it'll make more sense in a second when I explain it, I guess. The vanilla ending is quite different from the royal ending. To the point. I think I prefer the vanilla ending. I like this ending a lot. Um, but I prefer the vanilla one. And I'm really curious now as to what is going to happen after this, because obviously Persona 5 Strikers is coming out in February. By the time this video comes out, it might actually be out already. If it will be out already. Yeah, the video. <laughs> Strikers will be out already by the time this video comes out, and I'll probably have played it. Because I'm, I'm going to play through the, the thing myself first. I, I've been looking forward to that game for far too long not to just go through the entire game by myself. Um, it's really weird, though. Because I feel like Royal is... <sighs> from what I've heard, Strikers falls on from vanilla Persona 5 rather than from Royal Persona 5, but I've also heard that Royal sets up uh, Strikers quite well. So I'm, I'm curious to see what Strikers is actually like so I can kind of judge for myself which one's better. Um, we will take a look at the vanilla ending uh, as well. Now that I've seen how different it is, we'll take a look at it once I do the uh, post-game stuff. Since I'm really curious about that now. Um, even the ending theme though, I... This ending theme is nice. But like, the tone and everything? I feel like the original one is so much better. <laughs> um, legit, the first time I finished this game, the Persona 5 vanilla version, with the other ending, I was crying through the entire credits. And then that song is an option on Persona 5 Dancing, and I played Persona 5 Dancing the next day, I bought it the next day and I played it. Um, and when I got to that song, I was crying so much I couldn't focus on playing the actual rhythm game. Um, I don't think that would happen with this version, to be honest. Just this seems to have a completely different theme. Um, which has <laughs> it has something to do with the story, I guess, because it, it's left me with a different feeling, the royal ending compared to the vanilla ending. Like, there's a lot I prefer about royal, but I prefer the vanilla ending. That's weird. 
Oh, that's also really sad, actually. <laughs> but again, this way of ending the game fits with the third semester stuff and with Royal. I think I'm just really sad that they all went their separate ways, <laughs> even though they're going all towards the future. But that's the whole thing, isn't it? We chose this. We chose a life where they're all going towards what they choose, even if it hurts. So hi there, jumping in from the future to retcon everything I just said because my thoughts have changed significantly, especially on the ending scene, because I sat here editing this episode and cried <laughs> because of the ending theme. Er, uh, I would recommend going onto YouTube and searching up a video of the song that has lyrics and listening to the song while reading the lyrics if you want to cry because <laughs> it's depressing as hell and also just very beautiful and meaningful to the story because it is about the pain of loss and trying to move on from it and it's so beautiful and it's worth listening to, I promise. Um, yeah, my thoughts at, at the time of recording this video were um, still very undeveloped in regards to the ending of this game. They have changed significantly since the time of recording this episode. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about my current feelings right now because I'm gonna save that for the big review video that I'll do for Persona 5 Royal. Uh, just know that my feelings on the end of the game have changed quite a bit. And I think part of the reason why I was having such trouble with coming to terms with the end of the game is because I personally find it difficult to accept change and to accept things which are painful and sad. Or in which sense I really relate with Mariki. <laughs> um, yikes. Yeah, I've learned a lot about myself by playing this game, huh? Um, yeah, my, my thoughts on the game were, were... I was still trying to come to terms with a lot of it at the time. And I genuinely did some soul searching in the few days after I finished this game. So that's fun. But yeah, it's a beautiful and meaningful game. And I'm really glad that I played it. <laughs> and I'm glad that I got to share it with all of you as well. It's It's been a pleasure. Anyway, our, I'll let past me come back for the end of this. So uh, I'll see you for the outro. me for a thousand loops um if you look if you load your clear data you will be able to inherit some of your progress on a new playthrough thank you please be careful as you will not be able to resume from where you left off if you override data thank you would you like to save clear data let's do it um let's save over number one and that's our completed save oh my god we did it Oh my god, we finished Persona 5 Royal. Okay. Um. So again, I'll do a video later on all of my comprehensive thoughts on everything. I... I spoke a bit during the, 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 the credits there. Um, generally, I really like Persona 5 Royal. It's just the ending where I'm like, oh, the vanilla was so much like... Uh. But again, it's just because of... 
<sighs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think I still need time to address my own thoughts on it as well. So I'll, I'll come back once I can actually put my thoughts into better words as well. Also, was this bit here, was the, like, was, was that foreshadowing the helicopter or? <laughs> Seriously, the helicopter. Anyway, anyway, I need to stop. We've been here for forever. I don't even know. Hi. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Persona 5 Royal. Um, I, I can't really, it's, it's hard to believe that we finished the game, to be honest. I think because I'm used to such a different ending. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I will, I will get back to you at some point in the hopefully near future with my kind of final thoughts on the game as a full proper review thing. Because uh, I have so many thoughts on this game. So hi, Future Me is back. I'm here to close off this series because the past me was a bit of a mess at this point. Hi. So we reached the end of Persona 5 Royal, or at least the main bulk of it. Thank you for, for watching and staying with me through all of this. It's been a pleasure. It's been so much fun. I genuinely love this game, so getting to actually share my thoughts on it has just been a joy. Uh, I know I've been a little absent for the past while, sorry. Um, life has been really hectic since like July of last year, so sorry. I'm, I'm trying my best to get things back on track, but it's, it's kind of difficult, <laughs> so please bear with me. We will be doing the post game for Persona 5 Royal, by which I mean I have already started going through a new, a new game plus for this game. I already have some things like recorded and screenshotted that I'm really looking forward to talking about and sharing with you. But the main reason why we're going through it is to get all the bad endings and also to romance all of the ladies because we have to get the harem route. And I feel like an asshole already even though I've not romanced a single one yet. Yikes. Um, I'm at Putama's palace, I just finished changing her heart, so that's fun. The way that it's gonna work is probably... I don't know how often episodes will come out of post-game content, possibly once every couple of weeks. Really depends on how quickly I can manage to get through this content. I have a lot less free time than I used to. Or I have a full-time job currently and it's... They, they're they not lying when they say it's full-time, essentially. I have a couple of hours a day at home that I can spend doing stuff. So that's fun. <laughs> but I'll try and I'll try and get content out when I can for for both for the post game. If there are post game content episodes at all, they'll probably come out on Wednesdays. I'm hoping that there might be one next week, not this week, next week. Uh, because I can probably upload one with a couple of bad endings because it's very easy to get the third semester bad endings when you already have save files from the third semester. So <laughs> we'll probably look at those next week. So what's basically going to happen is there won't be another episode on Wednesday or Friday this week. I'm going to take the rest of this week off uh, because I don't have things pre-recorded. Well, I mean, I kind of do, but I don't have that much time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Starting next week, I'm kind of caught between two, two different options and I'd really appreciate hearing people's opinions on this. Uh, part of me wants to start a Let's Play of Persona 5 Strikers. Uh, if I do, it would only be coming out on Mondays and Fridays rather than three days a week. It would just be two days a week. I don't have time for more than that, unfortunately. Uh, I, it would be a blind Let's Play. I have played the entire game already. <laughs> Um, but it's very good, so I'd like to share my thoughts. But the other option is I'm considering dropping Let's Plays for a little while. Uh, I will still do the post game content for Persona 5 Royal, as I promised, but I might just drop Let's Plays for a little while because I don't have that much time. And I do have a couple of analysis videos I really want to work on, I just don't have very much time to do it. Uh, I have so many ideas budding that I've not really had time to sit down and just write out. So I I'd love to hear your thoughts. I know that most people who watch this channel watch it for the analysis content and it's been a very long time since I've been able to upload an analysis video. 
so I completely understand if people would rather see an analysis video than my Let's Play content. So I'd really appreciate your thoughts. Would you like me to try and continue doing Let's Play content as well? Or would it be understandable and agreeable for me to drop it for maybe a couple of months? What, what do you think? I have been considering getting a PC that will be able to handle streaming as well. And if that happens, then I might switch to streaming Let's Play stuff instead of doing pre-recorded Let's Play stuff. Uh, but again, I'd really appreciate people's thoughts on that. Would you rather watch live streams with VODs or would you rather watch pre-recorded edited down stuff? Uh, I'm very curious. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I've been thinking about for the channel and I'd rather hear people's opinions on it than just go off making decisions on my own. So I'd really appreciate your feedback if you have any, please. Thank you. Yeah, and as I said, I've got a few analysis videos that I really want to do. So look forward to those. One of them is definitely for sort of I can promise that. Uh, one of them is also Tales of Preseria because I've been into that as well lately. I also I do plan on playing Tales of Arise when it comes out. I plan on playing that on the channel whether it be as a stream or a let's play. I, we'll see what things are like when it eventually comes out. We should be getting more news at some point in the spring so I'm looking forward to actually hearing news about it. But yeah back on topic. Thanks again for watching. Uh, for watching Persona 5 Royal. I'll have a full review discussion -y kind of video on Persona 5 Royal probably when I'm closer to being done with the post game content because I'd like to refresh myself on the vanilla ending as well as the uh, royal true ending which we've already seen because I, I have changed my thoughts on the royal ending but it has been a while since I've seen the vanilla ending so it'd be nice to go back and actually look at that. But yeah, that's about everything, I think. So thank you so much for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Persona 5 Royal. Look forward to the postgame content. Uh, and again, if you have any thoughts, uh, either on Persona 5 Royal as a whole or on any of the little questions I post, feel free to let us know down in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time.